Welcome to Green Spring School. Like a tiny acorn that in time grows into a gigantic and imposing oak tree, Green Spring School has since its humble inception in 1985 experienced a dramatic evolution that has seen it metamorphose from a Montessori school with only three pioneer children to the educational conglomerate that it is today. A citadel of excellence sitting on two expansive campuses in Anthony and Lekki, both in Lagos, Nigeria's commercial nerve center and cultural melting pot, and boasting a student population in excess of 2,500 and counting. Universally recognized as Nigeria's first thinking school, Green Springs aims to produce a breed of students and future leaders who place as much emphasis on adding value to their world, beginning with their immediate environment, as on achieving academic and career success with its attendant material trappings. Individuals who are global in their thinking and seek solutions to the problems of their communities, nations, and the world. Individuals that are at once innovative and holistic. People who will deploy their innate talents and acquired skills in concert with others of like minds to surmount challenges and maximize opportunities in a bid to foster a world characterized by shared values, shared responsibilities, and shared benefits. That, indeed, is the thrust of the school's highly acclaimed curriculum, which incorporates a sublime blend of Nigerian and British content. We want to raise thinkers for Africa because, of course, as you are aware, our vision is to lead holistic and innovative education in Africa. And if we're going to do that, we must first be thinkers ourselves and then raise people who can think critically and solve problems. So we're saying to ourselves, okay, Nigeria is where we are. We can keep moaning about it or we can do something about it. So I just say, what do we want to do about it? We must be beyond the maths, the English and the science give to our students the skills, not just to be 21st century learners, but skills that will help them solve the problems of our nation, Nigeria. So thinking is a big thing for us, and in fact, our theme for this year is being the difference. Hashtag thinking is planning. It's not just, you know, something we want to be on our walls. It is something we want to see in the life of every member of our community, from our students to ourselves as members of staff, not just teachers, you know, our support staff, even onto our parents so that as we all think together we can continue to contribute significantly to improving our society because at the end of the day really we are an international school but we are set in Nigeria so we must continue to think of this nation and how to improve things. And what's important for our students is that they are very rooted in Nigeria. Nigeria is the place that is their home and they need to be proud of being Nigerians. You know, we, we don't want children who want to be Americans. They are Nigerians. And they need to be contributing to Nigeria being the best it, they, it can be. Because while no one person is Nigeria, all Nigerians together are Nigeria. Because I think people have realized that they don't want uniform mass conformity, where you have this one culture. People need to have their local content. We need children to be able to speak Yoruba as well as speaking French and English. You know, I think they, they need to do all of those things. Grounded locally but internationally relevant is what I, you know, the, it, global trade will continue. Yeah, there's one basic thing in the system. No child is left behind. Every child is unique and is taken as an entity. So, even the teachers, we are always updated. We are current and correct with events. The curriculum, life, activities, both within and outside. So a parent that is coming newly, to let her, him or her know and see the practicality of what we are doing. And it's evident, it's not hidden. In its effort to provide progressive education that ensures stability and continuity, Green Spring Schools, which has a preschool, elementary, secondary, and sixth form levels, adheres to the letter and spirit of its overarching vision, namely to lead holistic and inclusive world-class education 
in Africa and to promote lifelong learning in an open and caring atmosphere that motivates students to be confident and responsible global citizens. It is the aim of Greenspring School to turn out products that are confident in their ability to change the world around them for the better. Respectful of the opinions and sensibilities of others, conscious of the needs of the societies in which they live, and ready and willing to serve humanity in whatever capacity their unique abilities and aptitudes may require. We look at all the skills that can really help the students to be able to cope with the academics. We look at study skills, we look at the values like integrity, time management, responsibility, trustworthiness, citizenship, all those soft skills that they need to be able to work at any place, anywhere they find themselves. But we find out that it's not just about the academic side of school that can make a child to excel. There are some other things that come into play, and that's the area that we're looking at. How the students work together, how they are able, beyond the chemistry, the mathematics, and English, how they can be able to have the emotional intelligence that is very, very critical, how to work with other people, how they relate with people in different spheres of life, how they control their own emotions, how they are able to show responsibility and take ownership of their learning. It's a whole lot that we're doing, and we have curriculum that has been structured along that line. Green Spring School's admission policy is an inclusive one, as the management strives to avoid partisanship sectionalism or any form of discrimination on the basis of social, cultural or religious background. But whatever the background, training at Green Springs School is expected to breed in each student the virtues of sound judgment, self-reliance, integrity and self-discipline. The quality of education here is not reflected in the amount we charge for tuition. There's so many schools who don't give the same quality we do and charge so much more. And so I encourage anyone who has any questions to come in and talk to us and see what we're offering and then compare it to what we're charging and then you'll understand what great value we are providing. Now in terms of inclusivity, we are a pioneer in offering in offering um, special needs education. We've been doing it almost since inception for over, almost 30 years. And right now we are in the process of having um, a school for special needs students that's separate from here. There's few students who are not able to provide the adequate educational support for in this setting. And so we're trying to get them into a different setting where we're able to offer everything they need to go from one level to the other level. We have programs here where we um, have children stay in class part-time and then they have one-on-one -on -one instructions with speech therapists, occupational therapists. We all have all that here. Green Springs School prepares its students for a wide range of examinations and assessments, both Nigerian and international, among them the West African Examination Council WAEC and the National Examinations Council NECO exams, as well as the Cambridge International Examination CIE and the International General Certificate in Education IGCSE, among others. But as important as gaining good grades in these and other assessments are, the school is mindful of its so-called unwritten curriculum, in line with its commitment towards developing thinking and analytical skills in its students. The focus for us is to highlight the strengths of our students. So our core projection is that we produce well-rounded students. So it goes beyond academic excellence. We look at music and performing arts. We look at community service. We also look at interpersonal relationship, how the kids are able to interact. Then primarily what we've been hearing, I'm sure we're talking to my colleagues, is thinking um, skills. We've seen that um, it's more important to figure things out rather than just to know things. So what we do is to project all the attributes of all these children. And for me, if you look at what we do anywhere in the world, you'll be so proud and you want to be part of the system. So we just showcase what the students are doing now, primarily what the teachers are doing, because they are the ones that are putting the work. The development of thinking skills, 
Emotional intelligence and sense of civic and social responsibility extends from the classroom to the laboratory to the playground and everywhere in between and from core subjects to elective ones. What will allow the children to process information adequately, inter internalize the information and then go further to use what they know to affect their community, to impact, to act, to take action. So the children feel they're quite empowered to learn something and then use that knowledge to bring about the changes they also they want to see in their community and in their country. That's the kind of curriculum we run in all sections of the school. It's not just you know, amassing information, knowing and learning and learning all the time, and not, and not really doing anything about anything. One of such core subjects is, of course, English language, a language in which students are taught not just the mechanics and techniques of speaking and writing good grammar, but also the skills of effective communication in order to be able to influence not just opinions, but outcomes as well. We encourage the students to be very bold, be courageous as regards the use of English as a language. Quite a number of them, English is their first language. So we encourage them to, to use their speaking skills well. They have presentations in class, they write poems, they have declamation contests. The students have the opportunity to come forward to present their poems, their speeches, and gives them the opportunity to actually um, harness their strength in all of these um, skills that we teach them in class. Green Springs School fully intends to position its students in the mainstream of today's and tomorrow's technology-driven world, rather than on its margins, as has so far been the lot of societies in the developing nations of the world. To this end, the science program in the school seeks to engender in each student the scientific attributes of creativity, curiosity and inquiry, as well as the spirit of collaboration in the search for answers answers that are the end results of applying concepts and questioning conventional wisdom rather than simply memorizing formulas. We try to bridge a gap between skill, knowledge and society solutions, solutions to societal problems. So coming to the classroom, we let our students understand that they are not just coming to learn X or Y, they are coming to understand the link between the classroom and the outside world. So we prepare our students to be lifelong learners. That is part of the mission of the school. Prepare students to be lifelong learners, students who will be confident to face the society. So if you look at our society now, science and technology is doing a lot. And so I'm so proud to be a science teacher. I'm so proud to be one of those who, uh, who prepare students to solve the problem in our generation and a generation to go. The, the biology, the way we teach it and what we intend to achieve is to develop a sense of curiosity in the student and be able to seek answers to most of the problems bedeviling the society today. So we are giving them an opportunity to be global world citizens and think beyond the confines of their environment since they are what international students. As we all know, mathematics is uh, a subject that uh, some students are scared of, so we have to make it accessible to students, make it, simplify it such a way that all students will be carried along and they'll develop interest in mathematics. We make it practical, we we'll use real life situations to present our concepts. Gonna reduce when students have to memorize formulas. Yeah, we discourage them from memorizing formulas. Now we need them to understand the concept. If they can understand the concept, they will be able to apply the formulas. And then the application to real life situations, that's the most important thing. So that's the basic principle we apply to get the interest of the students. When they see the practical application of any topic, it, it, it gets them up, it encourages them to develop more interest, they want to learn more. At Green Springs School, they say that it is not enough to simply know things or process information. 
What ultimately matters is the ability to figure things out. The ability to analyze information and to develop core inquiry skills is a key objective of the school's Department of History and Global Perspectives, especially in these times when global challenges such as climate change, terrorism, gender disparities, and the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction and the illegal trafficking of small arms, drugs, human beings, and so on, are in dire need of practical and innovative solutions. Why history uh, aims at developing inquiry skills, investigative skills, critical thinking skills about the past. Global Perspectives is quizzing or trying to investigate the issues that currently affect the society, the world today. So like you, like, you know, like we know, climate change is a very big issue. Even in the United States, they are still very, very uh, top people, powerful people who do not believe in the impact of climate change, who do not believe climate change is real. And it's up to us as teachers to give our students the platform to investigate the world they live in. How has the environment changed over time? How has the, what, for example, when you use water bottles, you know, what impact do you think that will have in the world over time? For example, since the water bottles don't get destroyed, you know, every water bottle that has ever been used is still present somewhere, either under the ocean or somewhere, or at the beach or somewhere. And these will certainly have an impact in the, in the world we live in. And so it's all about teaching our students how the world, researching into global issues, issues that would affect them, whether you live in Cambodia, whether you live in Nigeria, whether you live somewhere uh, in Alaska, these are issues that will certainly affect you. You know, so talk about gender, for example. For example, in global perspectives, one thing our students must do is that they must collaborate. They must collaborate with students in different parts of the world. So, for example, we give our students a platform to talk with students in different parts of the world. As single-minded as it is in its determination to develop sound minds, the management of Green Spring schools is not unmindful of the timeless truths of the ancient Greek dictum that a sound mind can only exist in a sound body. Therefore, the physical and psychological well-being of each member of the Green Springs community, students and staff alike, is a key preoccupation as can be seen in the quality of medical and nursing services located on the premises. This concern for health is not limited to the prevention of diseases or curing it whenever it occurs, but it encompasses a culture of wellness. It is also for this reason that a school has, and over the years, invested hugely in world-class sporting and recreational facilities and equipment that have not only kept the students in peak physical condition, but have also enabled them to excel in major sporting competitions across Lagos State and beyond, and to establish Green Spring schools as a formidable sporting force to be reckoned with among schools of its kind in the country and beyond. As part of the curriculum in the school, sports is also an aspect which PE is the major curriculum. So in order for them also to develop their talent, the curriculum is a part in which we also assist the students. And sports, the way it is, orientates and develops every aspect of the human being. Green Spring School's culture of excellence in both academic and extracurricular endeavors is due to the teacher's ability to implement a teaching and learning program aimed at challenging each student to keep stretching and expanding the frontiers of his or her potentials. It is no surprise then that over the years the school has succeeded in developing a value-based community of hardworking self-motivated and reflective learners ready to make their mark on the highly competitive 21st century marketplace of information and ideas on the production of high quality goods and on the effective and timely delivery of world-class services first of all in elementary they had a pretty simple curriculum 
where there was IPC and you had little activities to help you to learn better. And well, now that I'm in secondary, things have gotten harder definitely because we started learning new things, finding out new stuff, and then I feel like when you're struggling, that means that you're learning better. That means you're finding out something new instead of just reliving old things that you've already learned. I think teachers do a really good job. What this course has taught me is that I have to stand in my moral values and also I need to take some good risks in life. You can't make anything without us. So all the, so all the that tech topics I'll be going into are quite risky topics. Actuary is basically someone that will calculate the risk for businesses. Cardiac surgeons, yeah, we all know that can be quite risky. When I first came to this school, I was kind of really reserved to myself. I, I didn't really like socializing. And then with the help of some teachers, like my English teacher, she spoke to me and told me that I don't have to always be on my own. That it's better if you make friends, because friends help you later in life. So I listened to that and I took to her advice. And when it was time to apply for prefectship, I applied with the hope of getting sports prefect only. But fortunately for me, I also became the head girl. And also, the school curriculum, it has made me better. Like, in my English, for example, I, I really hated English and I really didn't care about learning English. So. But my English teacher also helped me. And she gave me some extra lessons. And now I can speak English fluently. Green Springs has really brought me out of my shell. That's, that's one thing I know. When I came in year four, like, it's, it's been a remarkable change. One thing it has taught me is that you cannot remain idle. An idle man is not supposed to have food. Only one who works, you get it. It's only when you work that you will get results. And in the beginning, getting the workload, you think, oh, I'm stressed, or oh, just retiring. But you find out that if you don't have the work, you remain idle. And being idle, deep down, you know that it's not something that you really want to do. You feel there's more out there for you to do. And so that work that you do really, in a way, gives you your meaning in life. It, it makes you essential to society, useful in society. Green Springs School's enviable record of excellence, its high success rate in external examinations and assessments, and its world-class performance on so many levels has of course not gone unnoticed by key relevant stakeholders across and beyond the shores of Nigeria, as can be seen in the trophies, plaques, and other accolades that dot the rooms and hallways of the school. In the task of sustaining this culture of excellence and high performance and reaching new heights in coming days, the dedicated, highly motivated and committed core of highly qualified and empathetic teachers are helped in their work by an equally committed cadre on non-academic and auxiliary personnel, as well as by a modern, up-to-date infrastructure, including a power center that functions round the clock as an internet and social media engagement platform that is second to none and other digital infrastructure. At work, at play, or at rest, every student of Green Springs School is always in good hands and his or her overall well-being is the primary concern of those to whom he or she has been entrusted at any particular time. If the school's classrooms, laboratories and other work areas are comfortable, then the halls of residence can be described as luxurious indeed because it is the desire of the housemasters and mistresses and indeed the management that a student's rest periods are as qualitative and value driven as their work and study hours.
Nigeria's first thinking school has always prided itself in being a trailblazer, adept at formulating, executing, and sustaining bold and innovative initiatives. It is only natural then to expect a continuation of the tradition of excellence, a greater level of performance and multiplicity of levels, a greater level of global impact as well as local engagements from Greenspring School, an educational institution whose name is synonymous with wide horizons, high aspirations and deep intentions. Our focus this year and for the next few years, I believe, is to, you know, ensure that we grow our school as a thinking school. And really, what is a thinking school? It is not a place where some people, you know, have opportunities to develop their critical thinking abilities and problem solving and innovativeness. It is about every member of the community. So there's a lot of work being done. For instance, um, last week we just finished a, um, a training with Thinking Schools International. You know, somebody came in from the UK to train about um, 17 members of staff, you know, to see how we can continue to grow our school as a thinking school. And we have loads of um, um, ideas to push in that direction. So we're looking at um, how to ensure that in every classroom, right from our preschool, and you know, we're talking about um, from about 18 months, two years old, up until 18, because we have a sixth form school. All across the school, we are ensuring that in every class, in every lesson, with every teacher, with every child, thinking is being promoted. So by the activities we do, because as you know, I said earlier that you know, our students are very important to us. In fact, on the top of our um, list of core values is our child-centeredness. And what that means is, it's not just about the teacher doing it, it's about equipping every child, you know, to think, to be able to own their own learning and, and manage themselves. So that is the big thing for us now, because really, what is it that we need as a people? What is it that we need as a nation? We actually need problem solvers, not people who will moan about what the problem is. So that is the big thing for us, you know, at this time.